Hey everybody, BV here. Hope everybody's doing super well. So you want the five strategies to go from zero to 27 million bucks? Okay, strategy number three. Everyone loves a story, so tell a good story. But before I tell a good story, I just want to share with you what I'm my belief on business. I think right now, business is disempowering too many lives. Business is actually meant to be fun. It's meant to be personable. And one of our secrets to going from zero to 27 million bucks was to be personable, was to have a lot of fun, was to show our authentic selves. And right now, in business, that's not happening. People are being fake and they're trying to be something they're not. And so my encouragement to you is just to be your bloody well self, all right? Okay, sorry, I got sidetracked. But that's all right. Uh, that was an important message. Number three is everyone loves a good story, so tell a good story. So I'm gonna give you the formula or the recipe to tell a good story. So let's say you've got in the room now with that decision maker and you've got, got the opportunity to pitch that product or service. Or imagine for a moment, maybe you're running a workshop with an audience where your target market might be sitting in. Or you might be leading at your team event or whatever it might be, or a team meeting or whatever it might be. So this is a great formula to use for that. So the formula is format. And so the first, part, the first place to start is your intro, of course, tell your intro, but then open up with some uh, metaphors to start building the rapport and open up the loop of learning in people's minds. So with your metaphors, you want to tell three metaphors. You want to tell three little stories, but you don't want to finish them. You just want to get them to that point, just like when you're watching TV and it goes to an ad break where you're like, ah, oh. or you get to the end of the Netflix, uh, you get to the end of a Netflix episode and you're like, ah, oh, I want the next one. So you want to tell the stories in such a way so you get right up into that moment. But the story should always be a failure story or a struggle story, another fail story or a struggle story, and then the success story. So three stories, failure, fail, success. And relate that to your product or service. Cool. So you do that, you open up the loop of learning, and then everybody in the room is engaged because people love a good story, right? Second is yeah, it's time to tell your why. The benefits of choosing your product or service or whatever it is that you're offering, whether or not yeah, you're selling an idea, a vision, a concept, whatever it might be, and there's a way to do that. So what you want to do with your why is share it in six ways. So you want to be sharing it, telling a story about the story about the product, like the why, like a testimonial or a case study. You want to do it with statistics. You want to do it with just a direct benefit. You want to do a contrast frame. What if you decide to go with this one? What if you were to go with that one? So people start comparing. You want to use a quote. Somebody might have quoted about your product or might be just a quote in general that relates to the thing you're talking about. And then you want to ask a question, a question to your audience. And that way what you do is you're engaging everybody's minds. The different type of people in the room, you're engaging everybody. So for example, like a finan an accountant or somebody with a financial background, they're going to want to know information in detail around numbers. So you've given them the, you've given them the numbers. Or you might have somebody who's a, a kinesthetic person who loves feelings and so um, telling a story and then lights them up and then they're engaged. And there's a reason why you do the why first. It's because then when it's coming time to tell your product, whatever it is, or your message or whatever it is, they're in. They're already, you've already solved. They're already like, look, what is it? Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. They're already frothing for more. So... Set up your why that way, and then go into your what, which is your product or service, which is your vision, which is your whatever it might be, whatever you might be teaching, go into your what and share your what. Um, with your what, you also go through the process of the why for each of the steps of the what. But we'll go into, go into detail around that another time. From that point, once you shared the opener, the why, the, you're getting to the what, and now it's the what if. So imagine for a moment if you chose to partner up with a mentor who could deliver you with results and an amazing experience in a tremendous community. I wonder what that would be like for you. And so you get them thinking about things in the, in the future um, and they start to create that neurological pathway about moving forward with whatever your product or service is into the future. And so they're already, they're already moving forward into that and start thinking about it. And so you're doing a great job of actually future pacing them into the future. And then the best part is, well, not the best part, it's all best. Um, but then at the end, you remember those metaphors you started at the start? You then close the loop of learning up. So you finish that first for failure story, then you finish the second failure story, and then you finish the success story, and you thank everybody for their time. And so if you can do that, and even when you weave it into your uh, your sales pitches or your meeting, you might have a meeting with somebody, if you can share, weave all that type of stuff in, that also helps. Sometimes you won't get that opportunity, but if you can use elements for it, that also helps. So everyone loves a good story, tell a good story.